They're using a little home light Superman. I love it. I love it. I so, know what that is. So we're on the tailgate, friends, and it's just I'm right on top of the saw here. And we're just yeah. doing a little. The saw is in really rough shape, friends. And there's only pins to line them up. So we're just we're just getting her getting her going again. Nothing too aggressive. I'm I'm doing a little boat action to get the gullet right now. Just a little bit. Because I'm training this saw to where I want it. Don't worry about if your file goes dancing around a little bit here and there. Just make sure when you get to your last four or five cleanup strokes or whatever that you're you're staying in there. It's like putting on a tire so you can, you hey, there we go. She's looking good, friends. Real good. Okay, friends. Let's let's chat about this situation. Here it is. It's not going to get much better than this, friends, for us. I just thought I would design this for us today. Gullet. There's our C. Brand new chain right there. There's the C. There's my chain after... Actually, I threw this chain away. It's damaged. It's almost right near the end. The line at the top is right there. Okay? See the difference? There is no difference. The gullet is gone all the way back. All the way right back to there. There's a beautiful C in it. And there's the C. It's the same as it was brand new. There's another one. Okay, friends. So that they send them to us like this. Why? Why should we be different? They, they, this is how they give them to us, right here. It's brand new. It should look like that at the end of the chain as well. You see? Here's another good example. Right here. See? Look at that, friends. Come on, Buck, a nice job on the photography. Oh, yeah. Okay, friends, so. Yeah, yeah friends, this thing's brutal. Look at it. I'll give you the eye in the sky here for a second. Nick's closing up his carb here. We're moving and grooving here at Buck and Billy Ray's front yard. Buck and Billy Ray's Vintage Power Saw Shop. Vintage Power Saw Shop. <laughs> Buck and Vintage Power Saw Shop. Look at the chain, friends. It is just brutal. Look. You know, like you, you, it's not good. Look at it. It's bent right over. That's not what you want. You want that. Let's just slap a new one on it. I have about 170 404 biscuit chains. We could make one for you. Where'd you get those? Some crazy faller guy in Cedar. That oh, was YouTube yeah. Guy. Gotcha. 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 So friends, first couple strokes, like I say, I, I got no problem of going so down like this. Point? If you if you're not into the boat yet, and if that's something you're not interested in, then do it in two two steps. All the boat does is get the gullet in one sweep. That's all the boat does. It goes, it gets the outside of the boat like this, and then it gets the inside. So, but if you don't, if that's not comfortable yet for you, just literally just go this down one. Two, three, done. God's gone. Now, straighten out your file. Each stroke, just get it straight. Very important to have your tip up against something. We got a nice hook on this. I don't want it too aggressive. That's not what I want right now. I don't know how much power this saw's got. I'll know how to file it once I get once I get it cutting into the wood I'll know what to do but I can't put a great big hook in it right now I don't want that big of a hook anyway so there's that bolt and now I straighten out and I'll show you the end all result looks like Nick's getting ready to put his carb back on when they're rocked really bad like this, friends, it could take you 25, 30 strokes to get it back on course. You just can. Depending on how bad it is. Where's my glasses? Okay, so this is what we end up with, friends. So I showed you it before, not not the greatest. What are you after? 
lost a mountain bolt, mounting bolt for the carbon. It's under the saw. Is it? No, I just guessed. Maybe it's under the... Mix. Found it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> So in the saw? this is what we get right now, friends. That's all I want right there for now. So sit that like that. Right? It's fine. It's nothing crazy, but it's going to be just dandy so for what I need for finding out what this thing's got for power, setting the jets. Yeah, these will fit either it's 404, way. right? I say we do this, friends. I say we go in. It's time. Maybe this way is better. Yeah, I think so. You know, maybe this way. We turn this over. Whoa. Are you ready for this, Sean? Because I am. Let's do this. This is the part that <laughs> is always kind of exciting. So, so there, it bit. So you see, I've sunk in wood down quite nicely, nothing crazy, but now it's bit. So the next bangs, this, this next half inch of wood, is the money wood. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, yes, ah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Enjoyable. Oh. Okay, friends, so I got this one side beat here now. It's a fairly long bar, it looks like 32. So we're not we're not super aggressive. I, I don't want to be super aggressive right now, but it should be a fairly even theme all the way through this because I wasn't going crazy on the gullet today. Not on this power saw yet. So they'll all be really in the same realm, okay? So now to flip your power saw to to flip your gig, this is what I do. I'll grab something like this. I'm just using this. So I'll just put this here up against the wheel well. See? Just like this. Uh, you see? That's what I'll do. I'll just put that there. Now I got my tip solid and I can start doing my thing. Nick, how are you doing? You ready to go? Uh, pretty much. I believe so. Nick's almost ready, friends, to fire up. So we should think about doing that pretty quick. Did we put gas in this thing or did we drain it? I forget. I don't know, there's the squirt. So here's our deal, friend. It's got an interesting system, friends, this 050. It's got this interesting little bracket that comes in over here underneath and holds the plate down this holds the carb on it's kind of interesting i've never seen how's that feel nick good this big plate holds the carb on so it's kind of interesting there's the okay friends we got the carb kit on we'll leave that off for now yeah give, her a give it a little shot of fuel see if it'll pick up fuel we don't know yet we'll see we'll give it a little little drink of the old fuel here just to that should should be enough it may need another
try this again. It's got balls, isn't it? did we do? Same thing as that one, full diaphragms and everything. Yeah. Did we blow the... I blew the jets and everything out. Really? Well, I had gas going through them, I just put that right against it and pumped her through. That's a shame. Fuel line? I, I think, fuel, I'm thinking fuel line. That tank, we'll look at the crap on this thing. How do you get at that on these things? Yeah, we'll just show them it running when we're done. Everything went fine. So I'm working left-handed here now, friends, on this power saw. We're on the other side. I got my chest on it. You can, you can see what I'm doing here. And the power saws, you know what's going on up there. This is a uh, uh, roller nose too, friends. You know, I couldn't usually, when I first started filing double-handed, I, I've always done it, but when I first started filing a power saw, my left was my weak hand. Now it's my strong hand. Isn't that funny, friends? It just is. Oh, you're one oh, screw still, still in there. So yeah. friends, Hogan's popping off his first carb here and he's gonna rebuild this thing because Nick, the last time he did it, we put... Um, I put the diaphragm in backwards. He put the diaphragm in backwards, he thinks. We're not sure, but we do have, we got pulse, we got everything going on and the line's good enough, new filter. And we just figured this would be a good opportunity for Hogan to flap off this carb and get at it. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. friends on this one that's exactly for, what for new wrong. subscribers how are we doing anyways everybody down. thanks for popping so in being new down. subs at this channel we love you here it's great you're here jump into the comment section ask questions whatever you need but friends so the file in the power saw thing it's a massive thing on YouTube there's so much information on it okay I never started really showing my stuff maybe the last two and a half three years I've started just because of what I've seen on the internet. So I thought, well, I'll throw my two bits in there and see if it can help somebody, and it has. So so I just want to show you what what actually, what it looks like when I file my saw. I'm a visual learner myself. I can explain little things to you and this and that and talk about gullet. I want to show you what I do. This is what my file looks like. You're fairly level, you can see. You're, I mean, I could get you a little more level, I guess, but I want you to see what my hand does. Watch what my file does on here. Watch what it does. What's the problem? The gasket went below the diaphragm, so it was over the leaf holes. I feel dumb. <laughs> so that was the problem. So maybe we'll go now. So friends, the reason I'm doing that digging down like that is because the last fella who had it didn't. I, there wasn't a big enough gullet there. So that's the only reason I'm doing that. You can get the gullet other ways. You can get the gullet by just continuing going like this. And that's fine. I just choose to get it faster. I go straight at it. So um, it's just not crucial what your file does. 
it's in the end result really isn't it but it's important to have your tip solid up there or you're just going to be floundering change the angle of your file if you're struggling getting rid of your curve you know there's that little curve that appears when you're doing it sometimes change the angle of your file a little bit play with it just get it off there all right over and out friends we're gonna laws here I say I had a loss and okay so both sides of the chain are done it's time to file rakers so what are those you guys know Nick's wondering what a raker is this is my gauge of preference for now. I've got a Carlton, an old Carlton. They're rare. They're hard to find. They don't make them. They do, but they're different. Uh, this is just a simple, simple plate. Husky. Drop it on. This is a 404 chain, but this will work. This is a 3 8 um, This is actually a 3 8 gauge. I don't have 404, so I'm just going to use it. And it's not going to go real hungry. Thanks, buddy. Actually, what I'll do is I'll use the hard setting. That's what I'll do. And that'll probably end up just right. Do you understand what I'm saying, friends? So I go all the same way, friends. Yep. That's what I do. You can tell this is way out. The raker gauge, friends, will get you cutting so smooth you wouldn't believe it. So I go the same way on all my rakers, friends. I just file one way. What's I don't see the point of not doing that. So this is going to be probably a tad hungry because this is a 3 8 gauge, but I'm again I'm using the hardwood setting, but, which brings you up. But Buckin, what's up? All your teeth aren't the same length. Oh, they're not. Oh, I better pack it in. So again, friends, all the same way. If they squeak, just turn the file a little bit. You guys know my gig. You've seen me doing this lots before. If you want to flip your saw around and go the other way, then go ahead. Someone asked about uh, the gullet, filing the gullet out. Does it have to be at a certain angle? Uh, no, not mine anyway. If you're just filing your gullet out, if you're grinding chain, just get rid of the gullet. Just make it go away. If you want to file it on the same angle as your tooth, go for it. I don't. I just make it disappear. So again, I'm using the hard setting on a 3 8, three eight uh, gauge, raker gauge, on, on 404 chain. Because I don't have a 404 gauge, I'm done. This thing's ready to cut. It'll be interesting to see what it does. Over and out. Hi friends. Okay, so I just finished hand filing. You just saw me hand filing that old Still 050. This is a special saw, friends. To be honest with you, we got a call from uh, from a friend of ours. Um, he he's been put in a home. He's an older fella. His dad was a faller up Nanaimo Lakes, the, wo the wood up there, hand faller, friends. And this fella, Harold Buck, actually is who it was. And uh, I worked for him years ago, doing tree work for him. I'm talking 15 years ago, probably. Maybe even more, friends. 18, probably. Anyway, uh, we got a call on the saw, and I am so honored to own this saw. Uh, actually, thanks to Nick. Because Nick knows the fella that was kind of getting rid of his. He had a bunch of two man Merc and, and what was the other one? Burnett. A uh, Burnett, Power, pardon me. Burnett Power Matic. Burnett, yeah. Uh, two man stuff. He was a two man guy, but old Power Saw guy and his dad was a, it was, it was a, uh, sorry, Buck and Turner Logging. Uh, old Jippo company, I believe, out of Nanaimo. Would have yeah. been Jippo. One of the first logging companies on the face of Mount Benson. That's right, exactly. So this is a really special saw. It's got M and B grooved right in it, which is Mac and Blow, right? McMillan Blow Dell. So cool, friends. M and B there, M and B. There's the insignia right there, M and B. It's just such, such a cool saw. Now that saw should, so Hogan's gonna be, have the honors of, and I don't wanna cut much more off the cedar. I was gonna make some trees out of it, you know? But we're gonna, this saw deserves a sliver of the cedar, so we're gonna give it to it. Sonny, you do the honors there, young fella. Should, should start like a, yeah. <laughs>
Interesting. Keep your chain running. Stop. I just let it off. Jet, but that is pretty slick, friends. That pull wood. I think it's got some balls, yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> that is. We should slap that saw on your mill when we cut when we slab this thing. It's the right <laughs> mount. Yeah, and remember, it's not like it's not really tuned. No, but it's cutting good. It's cutting real nice. Not a real hungry chain, friends. Like I say, I just you know just wanted to get it cutting again, and now I can feel it's got pull. I could probably give that. Well, it's actually got a nice hook in it. Just show, show the chain, Nick. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. Show the, the side tooth. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's just, it's nothing hectic, nothing crazy. It's just, just nice and normal. Nice, normal chain, smooth chain. It had a nice bite, the way, boy. Good, thanks, Nick. The low screw, friends, was pretty...
<laughs> Thanks, friends, for hanging around and watching my shenanigans. I appreciate your company. Be kind, friends.